everybody, my name is Ned and welcome to Saturday Night Lenders and I haven't been doing these as regularly as I should and that's about to be explained. Basically, I'm, I'm trying to get a schedule together for the copyright strike that ends today. Um, a couple of you had stuff to say about it, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that the strike's over. It's made me appreciate the glory of YouTube. And, you know, as soon as I step a little bit out of line, they, they seem to hit me around the fucking face with, with bands and... You know, I appreciate that. I mean, do it to the bigger channels that fucking deserve it, not not Mr. Nedco. I mean, I feel like I need to talk about why I got the strike, if you already don't know. I basically took the music video from PewDiePie's YouTube haul, uploaded it, didn't monetize it or anything, and then some butthurt Mexican geezer decided to, you know, Send off a copyright strike. I couldn't appeal it saying it wasn't his to appeal because by doing that, I'm saying that it's mine and maybe there wasn't a little bit of fair use. I, I don't know. I don't really want to speculate on if I feel like I was unjustly banned from YouTube stuff. But I feel like the restrictions have made me have to choke down a lot of my content into under 15 minutes and, and that's it's made me feel a bit shit. But really, the um, the schedule th that's going to be starting from Monday, hopefully, if I've got the, the content ready, I'm about ready for work. So, got to try and scrape what I can together over the weekend to get it started. And <laughs> I'm, I'm so not prepared. But um, basically, on a Monday, we're going to have Let's Play 1. I'm going to put it up on the screen post-production, post just so you can keep up with it. So... I'm going to have two Let's Play series running at the same time and they're going to have two episodes each week. Do you have to do that now, Gary? Okay, so, so Let's Play 1 is on a Monday. Then we have Funny Moments. We're going to have Funny Moments still, but there's just going to be two videos a week. So Funny Moments will be on a Tuesday. Then we'll have Let's Play 2 on a Wednesday. Funny Moments again on a Thursday. Let's Play 1, the second episode, will be on a Friday. Um, Saturday is probably going to be either Rust or Saturday Night Ledness, if I don't already do Rust on the funny moments. I don't know because there's there's people that make Rust like their niche and I'm really, really on the fence whether to. I mean, I woke up this morning and my um, I, I got a new subscriber who I'm assuming has come for Rust and he, he basically said, am I the only one that's here for Rust? So I'm guessing people actually enjoy seeing the Rust videos, I mean, I do enjoy playing Rust, it's one of my most played games currently, so maybe maybe I'll do a lot more of it, but I don't want to completely turn my channel into a Rust page. I mean, if you want complete Rust, just go watch, you know, the usual people. Suckles, Sir Winter, Vertigo, Gary, why? Look at why? Why do you do this? Go, don't do it, go, don't do it, bad cat. Okay, so, um... The Sunday will be the Let's Play number two, episode two. So it's it's going to be it's really complicated if I just explained it. That's why it's all up on the screen around here. I mean, you probably won't be able to see me, but yeah. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it, it kind of works out well. I'm not expecting the Let's Play views to be as high as the um, the funny moments, but I want a, bit, a little bit of everything. Bearing in mind, I started this channel because I saw Jacksepticeye and his Let's Plays and that inspired me. That's the kind of videos I wanted to do, but that 15 minute restriction has really, really strangled my balls a little and I really feel like I can now actually do videos. <laughs> No, I haven't got a, a let's a let's play opportunity. Well, the, the strike changing the let's play opportunities. Also, Twitch can go fuck itself. I'm gonna be on YouTube gaming because I feel like I just want to make videos all on one platform. And YouTube gaming, it will be a lot easier to do all on one platform. Twitch is great, but people people want to see Twitch content creators, not YouTubers doing their thing and on Twitch. Um, I know it sounds dumb, but there are people that make content specifically for Twitch viewers and I find it hard as somebody who's playing a game to talk about other shit and play the game. 
and get involved with all the, the people watching. I'd rather just play the game and people support me if they want to. That That's that's how I do it. Um, I think that's all I've got time to talk. Well, I've, I've got plenty of time now, but that's all I wanted to talk about. I may be doing the Brave the Shave thing again this year. I'm not 100% sure I either want to do that for cancer support or I want to do the um, the mental awareness one that people such as Markiplier, Syndigo, Jacksepticeye did and maybe cut my hair and dye it a jazzy colour. Um, I'm yet to figure it out, just let me know in the comments section which one you'd rather see me do. Would you rather me shave all this off or make it, or make it purple or pink or whatever fucking colour you want me to dye it. I'll even do the beard as well if you don't add enough money. Motivation. So now I got all of that out of the way, I just want to talk about the Soundwave situation. I don't know if any of you actually care, but I do. And I want to address it. So recently Soundwave disappeared and I didn't think he was coming back. And I put clickbaity stuff up to kind of entice him to come out in the wild and actually communicate with us. And at least tell us. Um, he finally spoke to me and he's alive and well and he was just busy with school stuff but he didn't want to tell anybody and it kind of annoys me and he understands that I'm a bit burnt by it and I feel a bit betrayed but he's, he's back, he's gonna be somewhat a part of the channel, just not a major part and he understands but I just want to say that he's, he's alive but still maybe harass him he deserves it. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I've just got a couple of comments I want to read out. There's nothing much. I left it short notice to ask for questions. And I'm guessing you guys are a bit burnt out recently with questions to ask. Because I'm not getting as many comments on my videos. I'm not getting as many comments on the Facebook or Twitter. So, yeah, I'm going to try and be a bit more active. Hopefully with more videos comes more people coming to the channel and subscribing. If you're new watching this, make sure to leave some questions down below. I will read out random questions or things that I find on my comment section that I like, as well as Twitter and Facebook, but it seems that not a lot of people are seeing my posts on Facebook, and that's Facebook being Facebook. So if you haven't already, hit, hit the Twitter link down below, and yeah, maybe actually see my posts, because I'm going to start posting them there a lot more. Because, you know, I've got to be responsible and stuff. But anyway, let's begin with the comments. I bet you get another strike within minutes of uploading your first full-length video. You can't just resist scoring it with Africa by Toto. I don't like where this is going. Here's to another six month fucking ban off YouTube. Thanks guys. Hashtag twerk team. Um, I'm guessing this is because I did the twerking in the last video and everybody enjoys it. Well, I've got a, a funky fresh new video for you guys. It doesn't involve twerking. And, and, and here it is. <laughs> Who else but Ned? And and no one else but me. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am I am the almighty ruler of my domain. This YouTube channel is me. There will be no one else but Ned. Maybe just Cal will pop his head around in future videos. But but we all know he isn't the best brother who does YouTube. You know it's me. I'm fucking Lord Ned. Respect. Okay, so here's one of the more sensible fucking questions in its own way. Would you rather burn to death? Or freeze to death. See, I'm kind of on the fence because it'd be really uncomfortable to be that hot and then die. But then it'd be really uncomfortable to um, freeze to death. So really, if you're burning to death, you'd be like this. Or if you if you freeze to death, you'll be like this. Come back. I'll never let go. I promise. 
Can I has a cookie? And finally, I'm deliberately saving this comment till last because this is one of something I want to talk about. Um, 721st subscriber, uh, uh, Spagatoni. Try again. 721st subscriber. It doesn't seem like a lot to get to 721, but I now have as many subscribers as there are at the current time official Pokemon. Now, this may seem retarded as shit to some. But, put 721 people in a room, you can't. So it's, it's great and humbling that I have this many people on my channel. Like, at the beginning of the year, I think I was at like, just shy of 600. So to actually get to 700 is, it, mean, it means an awful lot to me. And the fact that people are just coming to my channel every day now. Like, I get the occasional person unsubscribed, but that's YouTube doing its thing. I, I check on Social Blade and YouTube removes like two or three subscribers a week off me. And I don't think it's people just unsubscribing either, I think it does it with everybody. I, I've seen a video and the video doesn't seem to lie. Why would people lie? Because they can, that's why. But I'm just really happy that people are coming to my channel and um, actually enjoying the content to the fact that they subscribe. Also, as I said earlier, this was the guy that decided that he liked the Rust content and he was like, am I the only one that makes, likes the Rust content? And I'm sure other people like it, just you like it enough to subscribe. So so thank you, Lego Warrior Films. You, you are the 721st subscriber. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, it's a fairly short Saturday Night Deadness because at time of recording and uploading, I'm still under the strike. But by the time this goes live, I'll be under the last couple of hours of the strike. Maybe next time the videos are going to be a lot less frequent, but a bit longer in terms of Saturday Night Deadness. It just gives you a bit of time to pan stuff out, maybe do the live streams on the Saturday or the Rust. But anyway, I appreciate everyone's support. It really means a lot to me and it's the reason I carry on doing this every day now. It makes people happy, it makes me happy to know that there's people out there that take the time out to watch my channel. So, thank you guys, this one's for you and Ned5!